Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to trip number two. So we're leaving the Oakhampton area today, and we are heading off to. Oh, turning off here. We are heading off to Heartland Key. Now, Heartland Key is uh, on the coast of Devon. It's on the west coast, uh, and it's a very jagged, rocky coastline. So I'm hoping that when we get there, we're going to get some nice big crashing waves. Yeah, if not, it'll be some long exposure, I think. So looking forward to this one. Should be a good one. I'll see you there. Now, for those of you that saw my last video, we were in Oakhampton area. We went to Meldon Reservoir and we went looking for black tall cops and ended up finding a woodland that wasn't black tall cops, even though I thought it was black tall cops. So today's video is going to be a complete change uh, and I'm getting a visit from the wife. So yeah. Today should be a good day, even though it's grey, wet, miserable. I'm not. Well, I don't know where this uh, sat-nav's taking me, but this really is not a main road, so I don't know if I've come the most direct way. Now, those of you that are a bit uh, keen-sighted may have spotted that in my last video, uh, I wasn't wearing a hat and uh, I did get quite a bit sunburnt. Yeah, it was blue skies and it was blazing. And yeah, even though God saw fit to, uh, you know, not give me any hair because I'm beautiful enough. Uh, I really needed one. Now, finally, it looks like we're going to be coming up to a main road. <laughs> I bet you this is one of those sat navs I can cut you across the country type thing. You'd have been two minutes slower going the other way. So I pulled over. I've had a word with the sat nav. And we're in agreement now. We're going to follow this A39. It's trying to cut me across the country. I'm sure... I've been down there before and that's some sort of track that cuts through some common land and ends up getting you stuck at a dead end so we're, we're in agreement now we're going that way so we got 11 minutes to go and uh, we're nearly there and the sun's breaking out yeah it's looking quite nice to be honest I love it when you get to the coast because you start getting these trees that are all bent over, all following the direction of the wind. It's amazing how nature uh, can just form a tree to its will just by the power of wind. And if anyone knows about wind, she's coming to see me later. This place is amazing. Let's get out and have a look. It's windy out there, so you might get a little bit of noise. Yeah. 
Wow. Look at that. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Oh. <laughs> Let's turn you around and have a proper look. Listen to that ocean. There's some wonderful big waves as well. That truly is nature at its wildest. Wow. So you've got uh, the Heartland Key Hotel here and it's flanked either side. So let's go and check out the other side. Oh. And then I think I'm going to have to bust out the long lens and see if I can get a few quick shots before the wife comes. beautiful it may look wet dingy and miserable to most people but for a photographer this is bliss I'm just waiting for the right waves to come in then I'll just take the shot so what I'm looking for is a nice big wave in this foreground cutting across the sea between these uh, rocks in the bottom and the jagged rocks and the cliff faces over to the other side just a patience game really well, here we go so whilst we're waiting for me to take the shots here's some information about Heartland Key from a tongue-in-cheek point of view. It's learning time. Yes, that's right. It's learning time with me, Dr. Steve, O-B-E, M-B-E, D-U-D-E. Not officially a doctor. So here we go then. Here's some carefully researched facts from sources within the local community, the library, Wikipedia, Google, and not from the boards that you can see advertised outside of the pub. Heartland Quay was built towards the end of the 16th century to accommodate all the heavy goods that came down from the Bristol Channel, such as lime, slate and coal. And it was the heart of industry in this area, until, that is, in 1896, when they built a railway in Biddeford, which completely killed the trade. And some other fun facts about Heartland Key for you. Firstly, did you know that the filming of Rebecca, the Netflix film, was done here at Heartland Key? 
They completely restructured the place so it looked oldie-worldy because it's not oldie-worldy enough. And they put gravel on the floor and they put barrels on the streets and they filmed an epic film. That's right, all here at Heartland Quay. Heartland Quay has many local walks that you can take along its stunning coastal line and into its countryside. Along the way, you may spot dolphins or seals in the sea, very rare birds such as birds of prey, and also lots of mammals like deer and foxes, hares, rabbits, badgers, and even little mice things. And if you're really lucky, you may bump into the only deadly snake in Britain, the adder. And that's about all I've got, so thank you for listening. Well, that's enough of that for uh, five minutes. I think it's time to get back to the van. I'm going to go and park up on the top, get myself some breakfast and uh, wait for my lovely wife. So, as the weather set in and turned for the worse, I waited for the wife and we went down to the pub and had fish and chips, because that's what you do in Britain. And then we went for a little wander when it cleared up a bit and came back and went to Heartland Point, our next destination.